welcome to my kitchen. I'm Steve and on this episode of Cooking with Love I'm going to be showing you how to make an old-fashioned Irish trifle. Now the trifle is a, a dessert that was originally made in uh, Scotland and became quickly popular in England and in Ireland. This recipe that I'm going to show you today is from my wife's side of the family and as you may recall from previous videos my wife was born in Dublin, Ireland and uh, her family immigrated here to the United States when uh, she was young. Uh, her mother used to make this recipe uh, all the time during the holidays like uh, Christmas and uh, New Year's and uh, she also made it during the summertime. It is a very light and refreshing dessert. All right, let's get started. Our trifle consists of three different layers. In order to really show off those layers, it's uh, traditional to use a clear glass bowl. Now I have a, a, a bowl made specifically for trifle, but you can use any uh, glass bowl, or if you don't have a glass bowl, you can just use a regular container. Uh, now I'm gonna do this in three different stages. Uh, the first stage is that we're going to layer the bottom of our uh, glass bowl with uh, cake. Now, traditionally, this was made with Madeira cake uh, that you get in Ireland, but we don't get that here. But a close substitute for it is a, a butter pound cake. So we're going to use the, the butter pound cake and we're going to be using regular Jello. Now, this is the large box or you can use two smaller boxes. It makes about four cups of Jello. And uh, we're going to layer the bottom of the bowl with the cake and then we're going to pour the Jello on top of it and that'll go in the refrigerator to set up overnight. Uh, the second uh, part of this is that we're going to be making a homemade custard. And uh, you can use a box preparation custard. Uh, in Ireland, they actually use a, a, a company called Birds to, that makes a custard mix. Uh, it's hard to find over here, and uh, I've just found over the years it's simpler just to make your own custard. So we're going to be making the custard and also placing that in the refrigerator to, to uh, cool off and set up. Um, I typically leave those in overnight. Um, you want to make sure they're firm. If you need to, you can do check it in four to six hours. You can probably get away with the... Uh, and then the third step is a... Uh, uh, whipped cream and I'm going to show you how to make a stabilized whipped cream. The one thing I hate especially if you're putting the dessert out on a warm day is that the whipped cream starts to weep. Uh, by using a stabilized whipped cream you could, it helps it hold its shape and not weep. All right so uh, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is slice up our pound cake in about one inch thick pieces. And I'm going to place these on the bottom of the dish. And I'm going to place a second layer. So you're going to have about two inches of cake sitting on this. bottom of the bowl. And I'm just going to press it down a little bit to make sure it's filling in the sides. All right, now I'm going to prepare the jello according to the package instructions. I've opened the package of jello into a bowl. Uh, today I'm using strawberry jello because I'm going to be using fresh strawberry fruit also in the, the trifle. I have two cups here of boiling water. And we're just going to stir this until the uh, jello dissolves. And now I'm going to add two cups of cold water. And give it a good stir. Now we're going to pour our jello over the cake.
We want to make sure all the cake is covered. Now this goes into the refrigerator to set up. The ingredients we need to make our custard is whole milk, eggs, sugar, cornstarch, vanilla, and butter. All right, let's put this together. In a heavy saucepan, we're going to warm up our milk the butter and the vanilla. And I'm going to be stirring this constantly. We don't want the bottom to burn. Our milk is heated through now. The butter has melted and it's just starting to simmer. We're going to take it off the heat now. And we're going to get our uh, eggs and sugar and cornstarch mix ready to put in. In a mixing bowl, we're going to combine our sugar and cornstarch. And then we're going to add our eggs. Our eggs are mixed well. Now we're going to be adding some of our milk, stirring constantly. And the warm milk is going to help the sugar and cornstarch dissolve. All right, now that the sugar and cornstarch is dissolved, we're going to add that all to this pot. and the pot goes back on the heat. We're going to be stirring this constantly as we slowly bring it up to a boil. And this will take several minutes. And as it uh, approaches a boil, it's going to start to thicken. And again, stir constantly so the bottom doesn't burn. You can see it's starting to thicken now. It's adhering to the spoon a little bit. And take it off the heat and continue to stir it. Our custard has been cooling for about 10 minutes now. I'm going to transfer it to this bowl. And some lucky person is going to be able to lick that bowl. Now we're going to cover the uh, surface with plastic. And uh, this is going to prevent a skin from forming. You put the plastic wrap directly onto the custard. All right, and this will be placed into the refrigerator overnight. 
our jello with the cake has been sitting in the refrigerator overnight and it's nice and firm um, our uh, custard is also cooled down and set now to finish assembling the second part I've uh, taken some strawberries and I've cored them and sliced them. Uh, by the way, I use an egg slicer to uh, slice the strawberry in uh, nice even uh, pieces. And we have some uh, raspberries that I've washed. And we're going to put a layer of fruit now on top of the, uh, the cake. And then we put our custard on top of the fruit. And you can see that our layers are starting to become visible. Now I'm going to place this back in the refrigerator. Uh, we have to do our last and third step, and that is to make the uh, stabilized whipped cream to top this off with. Now for our final step, and that's to make the stabilized whipped cream. I've had this uh, bowl and the whisk in the refrigerator for an hour to make sure it's nice and cold. Our, the ingredients we need are heavy cream, vanilla, powdered sugar, and this is one package of unflavored gelatin uh, with two tablespoons of water that I microwave for 30 seconds to dissolve the gelatin. And you want to do that step first to let it cool down. First thing we're going to do is we're going to whisk together the heavy cream and the powdered sugar. until it's just become thickened. Our cream is just starting to thicken up. Now we're going to add vanilla and the uh, unflavored gelatin slowly. We're going to whisk this until we get stiff peaks. All right, our whipped cream is done. We're going to finish off our trifle now by adding the whipped cream to the top. And we're going to garnish it with some strawberries. That's it, finished. And I'll just take a, a small taste just to make sure it came out well. I'm going to give this a little taste test. You want to make sure you get all the way down to the bottom to get some of that fruit of the cake with the jello. Some of the fresh fruit.
really, really good. It's light and refreshing, not too sweet. Uh, great combination of different flavors. I think your family's going to really enjoy this. Give it a try. It's uh, relatively easy to make. Uh, again, I like to let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. If you, you don't have to, if you need to prepare it the same day, just give it about six hours or so in the refrigerator. The jello should set up and the custard will definitely cool enough. Well, we'll see you on the next episode.